Father Larry here for part two of my series on this uh, F-250 engine swap. So I've been working on the engine today, just stripping everything off of it that I'm going to need to dress up the new motor, which is coming next Monday. I cannot believe that. So $3,000 total, $3,048. All right, uh, that's shipping, that's everything with a 100-mile, with a 100,000-mile uh, warranty. So I'm pretty stoked. Uh, that I was able to get the engine that fast and we can keep the momentum going on this project. So I have done some investigative work, uh, but what I found was when I pulled the oil pan off, uh, there were bits of metal. Pardon the Gatorade, fruit punch Gatorade that I spilled in there. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, these bits of metal are actually part of a bearing. And I'm going to show you what a bearing is. Um, but we're going to look under there, and I'm going to spin this engine upside down. So we can see what's going on, but what I found is that uh, this is the suspicious end, back by the flywheel. So the back end of the motor is where I suspect one of these bearings spun, okay, and then just got pulverized and ground up. Because what I found is uh, at that end, of the oil pan, okay? This is the end, the back end. Uh, so the flywheel's like right here. And uh, that's where all that metallic sludge is. That's where I found the bits of metal. And this will stick uh, to a magnet, okay? That is metal, folks. And it's kind of sparkles. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so that's not just, uh, you know, that's definitely metal. And Interestingly, it's also in the top end, the same metal sludge. It's not down here, it's just oil, but it is right here. All this, uh, yeah, there's oil on my finger, but there's also some of this metallic sludge. It's easier to see on this side. So I'll show you what I mean, like, I just smear some of that on my shirt and I don't know if you can see how that reflects with the light. Uh, whatever. All right, just trust me, it's metal. All right, so give me a second. I'm going to spin this motor upside down and remove some of the uh, caps and we'll take a look and see if we can figure out which one of these bearings spun out. All right, folks, here's the engine upside down. You got your crankshaft or drive pulley here. And uh, down there is where the flywheel is, where the problem seems to be, because that's where all the metal sludge is found. All right, so what I'm seeing here as I take this off is right there, I got a piece of metal, jagged metal, that seems to be bearing that has spun out. This is one of the rod caps right here. Uh, so anyway, I can see it on this side too. Uh, might not be able to show you that without a light, but right in here and right there is a piece of jagged metal sticking out. Look at that. Wow. So that bearing spun out. Let me take that cap off. Basically, this bolt and this bolt, and we're going to take a look at that bearing and see what happened. Right, I took the cap off that particular rod okay this is the cap that was holding the rod in place around the journal that shiny metal right here is the journal that's the rod is attached to so this is one that's intact okay that's the rod that's the piston i have another engine but uh so this is basically what you're looking at okay and when i pop this thing off okay you see that inside here is a piece of metal. That is what I keep calling the bearing. Okay, so this thing spun out because it wasn't getting enough oil, I suppose. Those are actually oil galleys where oil is supposed to be oiling in here all the time. So really, the crankshaft journal never really should come in contact with the metal. Uh, with this metal bearing, it should have a thin film of oil. Uh, so anyway, all right, now, uh, Back to the problem at hand. 
what we got is when I took this cap off, um, I can't show you the piston because I'd have to take the head off, but this is uh, a piece of the top of the rod that connects here. Okay, so it busted off, clean busted off the top of the rod and in there. And uh, so, and look at this uh, metal here. Okay, so it was just grinding into the journal. I can feel it with my fingertip. Metal on metal. Uh, where that thing busted off, that's the rod, top of the rod. So anyway, we got our problem right here. And that is what I heard that these things, typically the bearing that's gonna spin for you is gonna be the rod bearing, not the main bearing. Okay, so like these, that's a main bearing. So this guy is, uh, this cap is holding uh, the actual crankshaft to the engine block. So you have main bearings, boom, 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 right? Uh, and then you have rod bearings like this one. Anyway, so folks, uh, mystery solved. Uh, one thing I wanted to show y'all is, uh, you know, I told some folks I was making a gantry crane, so I'm gonna wrap this video up with a quick uh, look at this uh, crane I made to hoist heavy things in the shop here, including this very. This is my gantry crane, okay? It's basically like two two by tens, kind of forming like a header. Uh, the chain kind of wraps around this eight inch piece of pipe I have up there. Uh, it's pretty cool. So there's two by fours. I drilled a hole through it basically. I was looking at YouTube videos of people who made these things. And I'm like, I want one of those. Uh, so yeah, big uh, one inch piece of uh, pipe and uh, with caps on either end. And that two by four apparatus just kind of slides on top of the two by tens. Hope that makes sense with a chain wrapped around it. And then my hoist hangs off the chain. So this is a basic chain fall that I can pick up engines or heavy things. Now, uh, so yeah, the bottom, the base of it is, uh, once again, two by sixes, and it's got three quarter inch plywood. I mean, this thing is so freaking stout. And then the uprights are three two by sixes screwed together. And then up top, I have these corner braces, uh, carriage bolted in with two by six on both sides. I mean, this thing didn't even hesitate. I mean, it didn't even creak or groan picking that engine up. It is so solid. Uh, so that's it for now for the uh, F-250 engine swap project. We'll see you next time. God bless you.